En el éxito de esta economía, SB Presidente ha atacado. The biggest threat to the security of the United States is Donald Trump. And there's no Trump. Yeah. I don't think All we right. should conduct foreign policy in our bathrobe at five Not in the Congress. morning. On January 20th, 2021, we'll say adios to Donald Trump. All right, there are so many candidates in the Democratic field. They had to split it into two nights. Those were some of the highlights from the undercard last night. And of course, the main event just wrapped up about 30 minutes ago right here on 12 News. Bram Resnick and his panel of politicos are back again to break it all down. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm joined by Democratic political insiders Julie Erfley, State Representative Reginald Boulding of Levine, and Roy Herrera, an attorney and advisor to Democratic candidates. Our focus now, what's the strategy for a Democratic presidential nominee to win Arizona for the first time in 24 years? Reginald Boulding, we've seen a strategy that works in the last two cycles. Kirsten Sinema in 2018, Paul Penzone, sheriff in 2016 both both ran as small d democrats barely admitting they were part of the democratic party is that what it's going to take in 2020 for a democrat to beat donald trump in arizona so there's a great debate right now in the democratic party is it about turnout and making sure that you're going after you know urban people of color and or or, or are you essentially going after you know moderate you know, suburban communities. I don't think it's an either or, it's a both and strategy. You have to make sure that you have someone that's talking about the healthcare and that sliding door that Senator Harris talked about when you're walking into the emergency room. But you also have to have someone that has the courage to talk about things like immigration, criminal justice reform. You have to have an all in strategy because quite frankly, what we know is that in Arizona, you have to bring people out and you also have to make sure that you have a compelling case. Okay, so it's a if you buy that, you need an all-in strategy, and it makes some sense. Can a Democrat win with that here? Because Kirsten Cinema didn't have an all-in strategy. She had one big issue and just said, I'm an independent. Well, I mean, I think the, the 2020 election is going to be won and lost on a lot of the same issues that it was won and lost in 2018, on health care costs, on high-quality jobs. I mean, these are the things that I think the voters in places like Chandler and North Phoenix really care about. I think the other thing that distinguishes, you know, this year from, or this next year from last year, is that Trump is going to be running for re-election. He's running on his own record. And so for Democrats, I think we have to, you know, go out there and basically tell people, you know, are you better off? It's the classic, are you better off now than you were four years ago? And I think the largest, the, you know, for the answer for most people is going to be no. But what about the answer for Republicans and independents you have to win over as a Democrat if you're going to win Arizona? Will the answer be no or yes? Well, I think if you keep that focus on the economy, I think that that is actually what they do care about. And I think, especially, you know, we're talking about the possibility of a slowdown in the economy. It will be jobs, 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 economy, economy, economy. Arizona so you're betting on a slowdown. Example. You're betting on a slowdown. No, not necessarily. But I think I, I think that's one part of it is keeping the focus on the economy. I think that that's going to be crucial here in Arizona. We are not a high wealth state. We do have a lot of children in poverty in this state. It's a big issue, particularly for Republican women as well. It's not just Democrats. Democrats. Um, but I think the other issue and the thing that we can learn from cinema and from Penzone was that they kept the focus on their issues and they weren't distracted by very large personalities like Donald Trump, like um, Sheriff Joe Arpaio. And I think that that's a really key feature here. They have to keep the attention on themselves and on their policies and not get pulled into that Trump bubble. So we still have more than a year and a half to go here. Uh, but contrast uh, what we heard tonight health care for undocumented immigrants, Medicare for all. Is that a winning strategy or would you expect the Democratic nominee to move away from that in a general against Donald Trump? Because you know he will hit that nominee with those statements. Well, you know, I, I don't think uh, it's going to, I think in either whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, you're going to see a, a, a push toward the middle. I mean, I think you historically have seen that. Um, but the question, though, well, will it alienate voters who otherwise would have went out? I think here in Arizona, there's so many things going to be on the ballot. We're going to have a, a, an incredibly competitive U.S. Senate race, a, a zillion ballot initiatives, everything from, you know, uh, marijuana to outlaw dirty money, fair lending. So there's going to be people who are going to show up to the ballot. The, the question is, are they confident that you're the guy or the gal to actually take it home? What do you think about that? The contrast between what we heard tonight and what the candidate will have to do to win next November. 
Well, I mean, to Representative Boulding's earlier point, I agree that it's, an, it's a both kind of strategy. I mean, you need to inspire people in your base, people of color, new voters, and a lot of that is going to be one in an argument, like I mentioned earlier, on values and really, you know, the, the sort of way that the country has changed under Trump. And then you've got other people who I think are going to be voting on pocketbook issues, like we talked about with health care and jobs. You know, the economy, I guess, is, is, is doing okay, but the real question is, are they good jobs? I mean, unemployment's down, but are they good jobs? Is there in inequality being fixed. I mean, those are the real questions I think that need to be answered that Democrats can win on. Okay, and when we come back a little later, our panel picks their dream Democratic ticket to win in November 2020. Let's send it back to Karibe and Mark. All right, Bram, thank you.